Uh, to family, I hope this letter finds you in good health and spirits. You know what, I'm going to read this in a narration voice. I like to be dramatic. To family, I hope this letter finds you in good health and spirits. It's been some time since I last wrote, and I think it's important to share a bit about what I've been through these past few months. The journey I've been on has taken me places I never imagined, done things I never thought I'd have to do, all in the name of keeping our country safe. Some of these things are difficult to even talk about. There was someone I met, a man named Javier, Xavier in English. He was a good person at heart, but he wasn't the one in charge. Gaining the trust of his family, especially as an outsider from Liverpool, was no easy task. One of the hardest parts of this mission involved doing things that felt like a dead end. I found myself in the slums of Tijuana, Mexico, infiltrating a coyote smuggling ring that was using professional wrestling, Lucha Libre, as a front. They moved from place to face, hauling their equipment in large trucks, all while hiding their real sinister operations. As part of the mission, I was given the chance to become a wrestler. Given the burns on my back from the fire and the scars on my face, which even skin grafts couldn't fully hide, my adopted name, Samuel, which on my travels I found out also means the Angel of Death. That was an ominous, ominous lightning crackle. I took on the wrestling name Diablo, meaning devil in Spanish. A talented seamstress made me a costume, massive black angelic wings with a 16-foot wingspan, and I wore an old Freddy Krueger mask that made me look even more like a burn victim. My signature had become Gogo Plata, also known as Hell's Gate. Everything you seemed to be going according to plan. I was on the verge of bringing down this massive coyote ring where families were doing unimaginable things just to get a taste of American freedom. But then, everything changed. My cover was blown when I chose to save a bus full of 17 people from being blown up. I took down three terrorists, all while still dressed in my Diablo Lucha Libre gear. Afterwards, I was brought in for questioning by a superior officer. I told them, for a combat soldier, the difference between success and failure is your ability to adapt to your enemy. The people I deal with, they don't care about your rules. The mission had become personal for me. The people I had lived with for months, that had started to feel like a second family. While I could barely tolerate the ones running the Koji rings, I couldn't turn a blind eye to the innocent lives being destroyed by their greed. I know I broke protocol, and as I write this, I'm waiting for the court's decision. I stand by what I did, though. I couldn't just stand by and watch those lives be ruined. Sending you all my love, Samuel. That's a, that's a, mother, I would say a couple of things about that letter. Number one, it is beautifully written. Number two really sets a scene 